Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. So today we are back with our Galaxy... That's not a Galaxy. Take two. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we are back with our Nexus 7. This is the 2013 version. And I found a cool ROM that I wanted to check out, uh, so I threw it on here, and it looks pretty cool. So let's do this, baby. Yeah! I'm sorry, I don't think I'm legally allowed to do that. Uh, I will get in trouble for copyright, I'm sure. So this, guys, is the Exodus ROM for the Nexus 7. And first things first, guys, before we get into looking at this thing, we need to, of course, give thanks to the gentleman that brought it to our device the very pleasantly named Mr. Apocalypse. So thank you very much, Mr. Apocalypse. As always, down below will be the link to where you can find this ROM over on XDA. So as it says in the thread, this ROM is based on AOKP, as well as CyanogenMod, and uh, has a pure AOSP feel. And that it does. Um, I've used this for a couple days now. Had it on here, just playing around with it. Haven't reinstalled any of my apps and stuff, um, but just getting the base experience with this and everything seems to be working fine. I haven't had any problems, no force closures, um, uh, updated, everything's updated fine, everything seems to be working, camera's working. Take a look at our apps here and this is the majority of it. You see we do have dev tools, um, ROM control, We'll go into that in a second. We'll take a look at settings first. All the way down. Here you can, you can see that we are running 4.4.4. .4. Uh, you can see the AOKP version, CyanogenMod version, and Exodus version, which it says stable. So that's always good to see, right? Stable. Now we'll go back here and up here at the top, you've got your ROM controls. You've got performance controls, themes, and uh, you can turn on and off the profiles. First we'll jump into ROM control. And uh, you can learn all about AOKP team here and uh, get some information about individuals. Then we have this little slider comes out with uh, a menu of all of our sections here. General, status bar, lock screen, toggles. Hardware keys, power menu, navigation bar, and navigation ring, sound installer, ribbons, animations, LED, then auto immersive, and last but not least, heads up. So this does have the heads up notification, which you can see it in action here. It's pretty cool. Notification pops down whenever you uh, receive one. That way you don't have to pull down the shade just to see what it is. This also has the peak feature, which uh, once again, you can see it right here. If you pick up your device within 10 seconds of receiving a notification, a little peak pops up showing you what it is. So a ton of customizable options on here and everything I've tried has worked out. So you definitely wanna check them out here. Take a look at the, if I can get it, there we go, the launcher settings and uh, a lot of the the normal stuff that we're used to you can change the scroll effect things like that the grid size as well as in the um the drawer so all in all it's looking like a really good rom that you can use uh for a daily driver there you go i wanted to set it on its side so you can see that cool wallpaper but that's it for me guys uh this is sam with mobiletechvideos.com taking a look at the exodus rom on the Nexus 7 2013 version. Be sure to check it out over at XDA and be sure to check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. Find us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and we'll see you next time.